Five two kids are dead tonight, and their siblings seriously hurt after a car crash in West Jefferson County. Now this happened in the corner of Highway 269 and Short Creek Road in Mulga. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostrov joins us live. She's at that scene with the very latest on this. Jamie, just heartbreaking. It absolutely is, Sherry, but I do want to clarify something very quickly. This was information that we reported at 5 o'clock via the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Uh, it was reported to us earlier that a 15-year-old was killed in that crash. The Sheriff's Office did go on to correct that report. The 15-year-old is actually alive and in critical condition at Children's Hospital right now. However, the Sheriff's Office does say that a 9-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl were killed in this crash. They say their 19 year old sister who was driving the car is in serious condition right now. Investigators are still trying to piece together exactly what happened here in Mulga, but they do say the car carrying the four siblings turned across Highway 269 here and hit a semi truck that was coming the other way. Now, as the community tries to make sense of this tragedy, they say this accident should be a wake up call to fix what they are calling a dangerous intersection. I think they need to lower the speed limit and they need to enforce it. Something's got to be done about the safety in, in this crossroad right here. It has to, it has to be. Now you can see in the video there that flashing yellow light. People actually who live here say they are calling for that to be replaced by a full red light. Also, again, they're calling for the lowering of that speed limit. Uh, I also want to show you back here at our live picture. This just was placed up here uh, by a friend of the family, a woman who says her son uh, went to Oak Grove High School with these children, was actually dating the 17-year-old uh, victim of this crash who passed away. We're going to hear from her tonight at 10 o'clock. Live in Mulga, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News. We'll continue.